This is Fresh Baked Dreams on Reaper 2 Skulls. I'm probably pushing my luck on this one. This There's some pretty tough aspects to this quest, but the, the last one was so easy on Reaper 2 Skulls. Uh, I wanted to just give it a shot, just so I have a good, you know, if I drop down to one Skulls, I won't have a good basis for doing it. And if two Skulls works good, I'll, I'll keep on going. And, you know, sometimes some quests are just easier for certain builds, and so uh, we'll see. This one, the, the tough part here are going to be the Wisps. You know, they're going to kill my hireling just like they did in the last quest. Uh, champions and Reapers. We saw the Champions. We didn't see any Reapers in the last quest. Uh, and then um, there's a tough red name Werewolf in here as well. And the, and, and the Hag End fight's not, not easy either. Doubt I'm going to make these, but we'll see. Oh, I guess I did. I get a roll of 20, so that helps. I've got a decent charisma. The rest of these peasants are unlikely to leave. They so that seems. If, if I'm, I, I have, you. other than bluff, I have nothing invested in that. So if I'm making it, it's a pretty easy skill check. But you get a roll of 20, so a 25 means you need, you know, 5 plus distance. your roll, and it's you automatically make it a 20. Alright, so what I'm going to do on Reaper is I'm going to kind of wait till he knows me. There's a Reaper, uh, so maybe I can't do this. I'm going to get this Reaper, because he's just going to sit there and damage me over time. And he's evil, so I'm going to um, do my big cleave. And uh, he can't die. You can see the death block there, so he can't die from my proc, but he certainly can take the damage. All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna move. I'll get my hireling over here. I don't wanna. I don't want my hireling to die. There we go. This is sort of a nice place to sort of reset. All right. And then we got some more wolves here. Wolves aren't evil either, so but still take damage from that I believe. And my hireling's not going to survive these two wisps, so I'm going to just try to kill them. And uh, I generally like to kind of take them past the bridge. Whoa, there's a champion dot of some type. Um, fire and acid. So I'm going to come back here. There's a champion wisp. That's really, really bad. So I'll look at these guys. And we'll just kind of keep drawing them back until we get this wisp. Behind this rock, so the wisp has to come to us. Look at this. I don't want to deal with the champion wisp and the champion wolf at the same time. All right. Remnant, that's nice. All right, so here's the wisps. The one I'm really worried about is the champion. I'm just going to get my hireling back here. I'm going to have him park here, stand his ground, and I'm going to go try to get this wisp down. He's He's got a nasty dot, and he's not evil, so there's that, unfortunately. But let's. Getting him though, slowly. I'm surprised my hireling's surviving. Well, there. Never mind. <laughs> so that's a pretty tough fight. Um, you know, again, that's the that's the thing. The big reason we haven't wanted to go too deep into Reaper Skulls is the hireling can't make it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and should be off timer now. And let me give him a deal. And you can see I'm pretty low on spell points already. Um, but he can give me he can give me more, so I'm gonna do that. Use that ability. And there's a lost soul over there, so I'm gonna, which I think that's around 70 maybe now. So I'm gonna go up to about 300 and then stop. There we go. Whoops, a little higher. I wanted to. Right. So this is kind of behind this. I like to pull them back behind this bridge because they do the respawns come pretty fast. And look at this mob. That's a massive mob. I'm gonna renew, grab the lost soul, and then head back here and bring my hireling back. He's gonna wanna like fight them where they are. And right about here. And that way, if there's any new spawns, we only have to deal with this mob. And I'm gonna start off with a big loot here. So we have really nice AOE damage with our cleaves, and so you can see there's some wolves and stuff going, and we want to not fight too many of those at once. So we'll worry about making progress on the items 
shortly. Alright, let's... So again, this is, this is a pretty small mob, so I don't mind fighting these guys here. So I'm keeping my big cleave in case another big mob comes around. Alright. So, when I get these sort of like onesies and twosies, I'll just fight them. Uh, I'm mainly worried about the red name boss. Because I, I, you know, I... Not, sh not sure how bad it's going to feel when he hits me. I know it's going to hurt, but... Alright, I'm going to face this way so I can see a mob coming. And these guys, so I made my save there. He didn't knock me down. But that's the big thing with wargs. Alright, let me get this this guy. Hopefully he won't drag me into mobs. Oh, my, my shield's off, so i got to fix that right away. First thing, right? Alright, now we're going to go up here. Get my hireling here. And I think I could just ignore that guy, so I'm going to do that. Unless he starts attacking me. Those are not pebbles. All right, so we got one of three. Pebbles. The bad, the bad thing is I. They are human teeth. The easy spot is right over there. It's not in the easy spot, so we're gonna have to kind of dig a little deeper, which you know, go back a little more this way, which is not ideal. Um, we get some big mobs here. There's the corpse. I could see it up there, and I could see it with some wolves and wisps. All right, so we got this wisp. He noticed us first. We see a fear reaper over there, so I'm gonna back him up. try to get I guess we're gonna try to get some of these wolves in this direction let's see I'm gonna if we get a bunch of wolves attack I'll probably back up uh, all right so and I'm watching for like a big pack they come in big packs at times oh, oh, there they go let's Let's get them over here behind the bridge. We don't want more. We don't want mainly. We don't want uh, a bunch more attacking. In addition to those, we can handle those. And there's a the boss, and there's a fear reaper. Bummer. All right, so we're gonna have to get. We're gonna have to get rid of this reaper right away. He's doing 31 ticks of damage. All right, so lay on hands. I've been incapacitated. Let's see if he can. Okay, there I got healed. Harley's gonna die, but that's okay. I could actually use the aggro off him for a few seconds. Got the Fear Reaper down. Now we want to get the camp down. And now we want to get this guy down. And I'm surprised my Harley lived through this, but the Wisps give a more problem than the physical damage. Okay, so we got the. Okay, now these guys come. All right, that's a, the only mob that comes two champs. So I'm gonna use my big cleave and all my cleaves. Move around a little bit to just take a little less damage. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. So I'm going to just check and see if uh, the hireling is back here. Or not the hireling, the NPC. Nope. Alright, so that means the NPC is going to be wandering. We still need to get the corpse. I'm hoping the Fear Reaper that came is the one that was in that corner. But uh, now that all this stuff spawned, I think we could just probably go straight here. There's Valentina. So we're going to get mobs, no question about it. And let me see if I can see the corpse. Fortunately, it's there. There it is, Magma Corpse. We're going to head that direction. There are wolves. But I want to get her first, real quick. All right. All right. That's kind of a pain, but we need to get that so that she doesn't want her way on us. All right, now, the big mobs are spawns are gone at this point, so I feel a little more comfortable just trying to, you know, fight stuff where it's at. And uh, Tempest is probably not going to make it, but that's okay. It's, we're kind of near a shrine. We're actually near a shrine, so even if we wipe, we'd be okay. All right, so also, Meg's corpse. This is nearly beyond recognition. So savagely has it been mangled by wolves. The ghost's story appears to be true. If so, the women of the movement will be Hmm, I thought 
thought we should we we did the talking to Valentina, but it almost looks like it didn't go through. All right, so I'm gonna get this shrine opened up here first thing, and then go back and look for Valentine. She should be walking along a path. Um, there's some wolves, so that's unfortunately just a thing. She should be kind of walking along this path, and we'll probably make her way back, so let's just come here. Up the wolves. Alright, just gotta do a little damage to this before the... I don't know what... I don't know what Tempest was doing over there. So, that's unfortunate that I didn't find, well, it says confront and accuse the pie maker, so maybe I'm actually okay. I think I'm actually okay, so, uh, but we need a shrine, so let me do that, or I should say our pirate needs a shrine. Which means I'm probably going to be fighting these wolves after all. That's all right. I probably should have used the shrine when I was uh, here last time. All right, so I'm going to have him use it. So, um, being two-handed fighting, you know, this, doing the optional part is a little tough for this end fight. And by optional part, I mean the part where we, uh, kill the red name first. My, uh, when I play a caster, for example, my typical trick is to turn them to stone, the two orange names, and then just kill the red name. But I can't do that, and plus my damage, when I do damage it, um, I'm going to come across the edge here to try to aggro as little as possible. Uh, when I do um, attack, that looks like we got this wolf. That's all right. I'm going to bring him to the other side of the bridge, just so we don't aggro more. One's not too bad. Not champion wolf. All right. Since I th think it's possible the hireling may not be able to. Morgantha addresses the gathered peasants. All right, yeah, so we've, we've got this. Platform. We're good. Be off already! Show! I got a little confused by the objective, no but. More pies. How many times must I tell you? So they're gonna attack me here shortly, but. Morgantha looks down at you. Got time to do this. You poor misguided soul. And I'm gonna give you him thought that they did not know. Fire. Morgantha howls. I mean, I would think that they're evil if they're eating people pies. I don't know. We'll see. I'm surprised that I lived, but it could be saved too. I, I'm not sure if they're minds controlled, they might not be considered evil. But I don't know. To me, eating people pies seems like would qualify them as evil. All right, these guys are definitely that evil. Cackling comes from up there. Right. We're almost, our box almost out. There we go. And you can see that just kills all of them, or most of them, because of our Sunder investment. So I'm going to try to run to the top. A little risky. Especially with the champion, but I'm gonna try to run to the top and then get the uh, boss first. May not be able to, and then we'll have to do the other one. But yeah, you can see how quickly I'll take down Miller the Younger. 
but let's see if I can see the boss. Oh, there's a young one. So there's the old, there's the old Morgantha. I'm gonna try to take her down, but I think it's sort of unlikely. But we'll see if the other one stays back there and just casts spells on me. We might be okay. Because one could go down, but if they go, both go down, that's when there's a problem. All right, this is looking better now because the one staying back casting spells. So one down, and so now we have to do is beat this, and quest is over. So I wanted to show, I, I sort of wanted to do the other chest, but at the same time I wanted to show this approach that's on my normal and hard videos, I go for the extra chest. Almost looks like he released, that's kind of when someone ties and releases, that's what it sort of looks like, six hit points. I don't know why he's not killing himself, let me see if I can't help out a little bit. Leaving behind them only the bitter taste of dreams no, cut short. All right. Broken. So now we've completed the, the the quest without having to do the optional outside. We just uh, loot our chest. This can have named items in it. It used to be that you didn't get them unless. All right. Well, look at that. So fortification 77%, pairing to physical sheltering 14, profane well rounded, give me plus one of my stats and a mythic armor bonus plus two. And as part of the Silent Avenger set, which bonus, which I'd really love to have. So that's I, probably if I was going to get an item from here, this would be the item I'd want. Uh, unfortunately, I have to have a death block item before I can switch to this, or if I'm able to switch to this at all. But this is definitely something I want to keep since I want to use this build for a few lives. It's a keeper, even if I'm not going to use it right away. So that's a very lucky drop. All right, so now that we've done that, all we have to do is talk to Valentine. All of this. And then light the fire and quest and catches fire, filling the window. I probably don't. I probably could just recall right from there, but it just feels funny standing in a burning building, so that's why I exited. And that is. Oh, let me stop here. I almost forgot again. So, um, Reaper two, three hundred fifty-three uh, Reaper XP. So you know, you can see it's not much more than running it on Reaper one, but it's a little more, so we'll take it. Uh, so pretty happy there, 353 Reaper XP. I'm just happy I was able to run it. I wouldn't have, uh, I mean, we had some challenges there, but I wouldn't have guessed that that quest was that easy to run for us on Reaper 3. Um, so I'm feeling really good. Uh, probably try the next one, or Reaper 2 rather. I'm gonna try the next one on Reaper 2 also. So check my end reward. Nothing too interesting. I'm just going to grab a light item, and uh, I do that just so my backpack doesn't get too full. And that is fresh baked dreams on Reaper Two Skull.